Welcome to another video on Delphi Basics. Our previous series has been on learning how to code in Delphi. And in this lesson, we're going to learn about local and global variables. You should by now know what a variable is, but we're going to see the difference between what is called a local variable and a global variable. The best way to explain global and local variables is to actually go straight into an example. So let's take this scenario. We've got a situation where we want to display a value there is where we can set the value. So I can set it to 12, for example, and then I can increase the value. In our previous uh, video series, we learned about INC or increase, where we can increase it by one, or we can increase it by five. And we want to, const like for example, if I take set it to 12 and I increase it, it will then make it 13, and I click it again, it'll be 14, and so on and so on. But I want to do it in such a way as, a, as that I'm not getting the value from this particular label, LBL value. I must just display what's called a variable so we're going to start by setting the value so we're going to come here to set value and we're going to take the value from this spin edit and put it into a variable so i'm going to call a variable called our value and make it an integer so we declare our variable and then i'm going to say our value is equal to whatever's in the spin edit, spin edit start dot value. So whatever the value is in that spin edit, in this case a 12, go put it into our value. And then we are going to simply say LBL value dot caption is equal to whatever our value is. Put that value into that label, uh, but this is an integer, that's a caption which is text, so a string, converted from an int to a string so that it fits. Okay, very simple program so far. So if I click on 12 here, you see the 12 appears there. So whatever my starting value is, I can set it over here. Now I want to increase that value by one. So when I click on this, I want this to go up to 17. Click it again, 18 and so on. So simply I come over here to this button and I don't want to refer back to the, the label to get the value. I must just display the variable. So now I can simply go increase, which is the function to increase a value. And I go R value. Okay. Now that's a problem because it doesn't recognize R value because I've got it over there. But it's, I want to increase it so that I can display it because I want to display in it again. So I'm going to do all this again. My problem is it doesn't recognize what R value is. And that is because over here, when we declare, this is what we call a local variable. A local variable is a variable that is only used inside that procedure. It gets declared there, it gets created, and the moment this procedure has finished doing what it needs to do, all the variables disappear and they don't exist anymore. It's a local variable, it's a temporary variable almost for, for this part of the program. So when I click on this button, once it's finished clicking on it, the value would have disappeared. So when I click over here, this procedure cannot recognize the variables from another procedure. That was why in our calculator, we could call multiple variables of the same name because it do, they don't see each other. So I can call it R value here. So let's pretend we declare a variable here of type R value of type integer. So now, now it does work. Now we can increase it and then display it. So let's see what that does. So we set the value to 12, and then I increase the value by 1. Okay, now 12 plus 1 is not equal to that number. So what happened? Well, this set it to 12, and then this increased 1. But this variable is a different variable to this. When this button is finished, this variable disappeared. And so this value is a completely different variable. So this is also a local variable. And that's the problem. The moment you have a situation where you are using let me use variable, uh, the moment you are using a situation where you need to use a variable amongst multiple buttons, so this this button needs to use a variable from there and so on, then you cannot use what we call local variables. You need a global variable, a variable that can be used throughout the duration of the program. And to declare a global variable, you must go all the way to the top. Now, there's a few places you can declare it. You see there is a VAR here already, 
right at the top under users type before we get to the implementation there's already a var there you could technically declare a variable here i can say our value of type integer over here so i can declare a variable here and therefore it will be a global variable in other words what happens is a global variable will be will, will not disappear when you click on buttons that will stay for the full duration of the program and we can use it multiple to, with any of the buttons they can all use it okay so that's not going to disappear it'll keep its contents you could also under private or public declare a variable here so you could say variable r temp of type integer for example and then over here you could also have var you actually don't even need to put the var there i don't think but you could declare it there as well i think you can just put it like that r temp 2 is of type integer and there can be all sorts of types you can do that as well what this means private means it can be only be used only be used inside this unit you can only use this variable inside this unit which is what we always do we haven't learned about other uh, units or other forms public if we want this to be able to be used by an, another unit later on when we learn about multiple units or multiple forms then we would understand this so this can be used by other units that are connected to this one um, but for now that's fine as well we're not too stressed about private or public you can just declare a variable there okay but they follow the rules must start with the a not not a number not a special character no special characters no spaces must be unique okay so now let's try this now so i've got a global variable now so if i run it it should work right i don't think so let's try it that works still gives me the same problem that's because when you declare a global variable and you have a local variable with the same name this procedure will use the local variable first before it uses a global variable so over here for these two buttons we've got local variables and we've got this global variable so these buttons are actually not even using that one so i actually need to go actually yeah we're going to take this out i don't need to declare our value here because i don't need a local variable here i need to use the global variable over there so we set it to a value and then over here we also don't need a local variable either because i want to use the exact same variable that this one's using which is the global variable so both of these you see how i don't have any declaration for our value and there's no errors for it because these are using the global variable which is declared at the top so now in this case if i click on set value it's a 12 and then i can increase it it's a 13 and now i can click on it multiple times and it will increase its current value it keeps its value for the duration so the moment you are right or need to use a variable amongst multiple buttons or when you use it on one button but it must keep its value after you've used that button then you must use a, a global variable to store that value and if i want to increase it by five then that's simple when i go to this button i simply i get the increase I don't declare an I value. I'm going to use the global variable I value and say I've uh, increase I value. Do you see how although I don't have a I value declared, it doesn't give me a problem because it's a global. Increase this by I increase. In other words, it's going to get the five from that spin edit and say take that value and increase it by five. And then we're just going to display it back into the caption so you notice we don't there's no r value there but it still works because it's a global variable so we set it and then i increase it by one or i can increase it by five increase it by one increase it by five okay one little quick thing here if i run the program and i do not set it and i increase the value straight away remember i haven't given it a starting value i just increase it you notice it went to one that means it's an original value was a zero so that's the other thing to take note of when you declare a global variable they are automatically they default to start at zero so they will automatically when you have a global variable it's automatically zero 
The local variable, we don't know what its value is going to be, but the global variables are always going to have zero as a starting value. So recap, when you are wanting a value to keep its contents through multiple, multiple buttons or multiple procedures, or if you have a procedure that at the end of the procedure, it must keep its contents. If you're going to store it in a variable, make sure you declare it at the top as a global variable and also make sure that you don't have any variables with the same name inside that procedure because it will use the local one instead have you watched all the previous videos in the series if not go to our youtube channel click on that subscribe button go check out the playlist so you can catch up what you might have missed out on share us with your friends and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way